Hello and welcome to this Infinite Runner Engine tutorial. Um, I'm Renault from my mountains and today we're going to talk about cameras. Uh, so um, here I have my uh, Fight of the Abatros game playing in scene view. Here you can see what the camera renders. In most games you you will have a camera uh, because whether it's moving or not you'll need it to display the player and what's happening in the game. Um, the Infinite Run engine comes with its own camera controller. Uh, it's optional, of course. You can have just a static camera if you want, or you can have your own uh, camera controller, so you can replace it with you know any asset you, you find on the store or whatever. Uh, to use it, you, you simply uh, add a camera to your scene, and uh, you you know you can just add the camera, and then you add the camera behavior script. Uh, that's really all there is to it. There are a few things you can tweak from the camera behavior inspector. Uh, the first one is the zoom level and position. So by default, uh, here in this scene, I have uh, a zoom of 26 and a maximum zoom of 26, but I can change that to 13. And if I press play, you'll see that, uh, you know what, I'm gonna move my game scene to here. You'll see that if I press play, uh, my wave position has changed and now I am below the waves. I can change that. I was at 26, I think I could change that to uh, 50, for example. And if I press play, I'm now way above my uh, albatross and I, I've changed you know, my, my position. Uh, so really, uh, what this says is that that's your position at minimum zoom and your position at maximum zoom. The zoom will change over time. Uh, of course, if you put the same position at both, you will apply the same offset to your camera. Uh, you can also decide that, I'll just revert that. You can also decide that your camera should uh, follow the player on some axis. In this case, um, my albatross is only moving on the X axis. So uh, there's only, it only makes sense for the camera to follow it on the X axis. But uh, if I were to change it to uh, also follow the y-axis, you'll see that, uh, well, it's not set up properly, so <laughs> uh, obviously it doesn't work. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's really slight, but uh, I have a, a very slight change in the y-value uh, and the camera would, would change it. Of course, if I uh, were to change the game for uh, to have my my bird here able to move on the way axis more uh, that would make more sense uh, that's something that you have in the the vertical demo scene for example um, so let's uncheck that uh, you can also change the camera speed so for example if i change it to 0 0.2 was previously at 5 uh, and if i change it i'm gonna just set it up in a way that you can see what happens um, as you can see, with a value of 0 0.2, my camera is much slower to uh, to catch my my bird. So uh, it's really lagging behind. Uh, my bird is the one on the right. It's outside of the screen right now. It's it's the little one, uh, the one that makes the kind of waves. Um, so it really doesn't work. And instead, if I change it to 50, for example, so 10 times the uh, default speed, you can see that uh, this time it's almost um, attached to the bird and uh, you don't get that inertia effect that you had be uh, before so it's i like it when you know the camera drags a little bit behind like that because it gives you the impression of, of movement that you usually want but really it's up to you you can change that however you want um, you can also define bounds for the camera so uh, if you check that the camera won't be able to uh, move past a certain bound uh, in this case, I think there's one on the left. So yeah, as you can see, my bird is uh, on the left of the camera, but the camera can't reach it. So uh, that also gives you a good impression of the limit of the level uh, combined with the wall, or in this case, uh, this kind of rocks. Um, it's, it's really useful too. Um, and you can define the bounds here. So uh, here I said that my X bounds were uh, the minimum bounds were minus uh, 250 and the top bounds were 250. And you can also, uh, the last thing that you can set is 
on the uh, enable effect on mobile if you check that uh, well nothing will happen but if you uncheck that and you compile for mobile it will automatically uh, remove all effects so name namely this uh, post-processing behavior script attached to the camera uh, this is done because I when I work I, I usually forget to turn off the effects on mobile and they can be quite heavy on performance so uh, that way it's a, it's a good um, automated task that will you know remove it for you um, one last thing I wanted to show you is how to position uh, your camera you can of course do it uh, like I said using tweaking these values but you can also do it big uh, if you move the camera uh, just like that and you said okay I want this to be my minimum zoom uh, and uh, I want this to be my maximum zoom so uh, the camera will lerp its position between one and the other as time goes by and uh, if you press play you see that well now it's uh, it's all blurry but <laughs> that's because of my depth of field but um, yeah it's really as simple as that that's absolutely all there is to know about the camera controller it's really a simple one again feel free to replace it with something better if you want um, i hope you learned something new today and i'll see you next time